Hey there guys, welcome back, hope you're all doing well, this is Chetan here from Double Cube and it's time for a brand new video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys the top 10 shortcuts in After Effects to increase your workflow like anything and I'm sure you guys will love these shortcuts because these are so cool and so amazing and you will use them in every single project that you do in After Effects. So I'm really excited to show you guys, so without further ado, let's get started. So here we are in After Effects and I'm going to start off with the first shortcut by showing you the best shortcut I think in After Effects is and that's to reset your anchor point position. Now some people go the traditional way by using the pan behind tool. So for example if I go to my ellipse tool and then I just go and create an ellipse you can see that the anchor point is right over here in the middle of the composition but I want it to be in the center of the circle. Now. The usual way you would do is you would click on the pan behind tool, you would click and drag and then you would move over here. Now if you have snapping on, that's going to make your life a little bit easier. Another thing that people do is they have a script which is the center anchor point position. But I'm going to show you a shortcut which is way more cooler than both of these. So if I just control Z that all I got to do is I got to hold down control and double click on the pan behind tool and that's going to snap it to the center. So that's the first shortcut. Moving on to our second shortcut, now for those of you who don't use the mouse and use your mouse pad you know when you're working, zooming in is going to be a big problem. So here is a quick shortcut. Here is the comma key to zoom out and the period key or full stop to zoom in. So there we go. Alright, shortcut number three. Now for example you're zoomed in pretty close into a composition or you moved out too much out of a composition and you want to fit the canvas to the screen, the traditional way is to go click over here and choose fit up to 100. But what if there's a cool shortcut? If I hold down shift and the slash key and there you go, it's going to fit the composition right into the center and that's going to be so useful rather than going over here, clicking and choose fit up to 100. Alright, next on our list. Now for example, you have an animation like this between two keyframes and this is going to be pretty simple but if you have like a bunch of keyframes like say 10-20 keyframes on a single layer and you want to move between the keyframes, it's going to be a big problem. So here is our shortcut. You can use the letters J and K to switch between keyframes. So K is going to go to the next keyframe and J is going to go to the previous keyframe. Now for example, I created one more keyframe. Let me probably move this down. Let's go create here another one. Let's go move this up. So you know, it's a crazy wacky. So if I want to go and change, uh, I don't have to go and move right over there. All I can do is press J, J, J and go back and K, K, K to move forward. And that's to move between the keyframes. Alright, so our next shortcut. Now, For example, we have an animation that's like this and you want to go and change the interpolation. You can go, usually you would go into the graph editor and then select the keyframes and you know, make all this stuff. But you know, if you want to keep your cursor right over here, and go into the graph editor, all you gotta do is hold down shift and F3 and that's gonna switch you to the graph editor. Hold down shift and F3 again and that's gonna get you back to your normal timeline. So that saves a lot of time of going back and coming over here and selecting the keyframes again. Okay, so next up, for example, if you want to go and change the interpolation of the keyframes, what you would normally do is select the keyframe, right click, keyframe assistant and choose easy in or keyframe interpolation. Well, I got a shortcut for you. Select the keyframe, hold on Ctrl, Alt and K and boom, there you go. You have a, your keyframe interpolation dialog box and you can change this to whatever you want. Alright, so the next shortcut. So now for example, there are a lot of properties that you want to animate off the object. Now you would go ahead and dub down and click on transform and set up these and go to contents and go to ellipse and things like that. But I have a really cool shortcut. All you got to do is hold down Ctrl and click on the triangle and that's going to fold that up if it is folded, unfolded. And if it is folded, you click on it, it's going to go ahead and open up every property for you and you can select it. And all you got to do is hold down Ctrl and close this up to make it look clean. Alright, so our next shortcut. Now this might be a common shortcut which you might use but for those of you who don't know, you're going to thank me. So for example, you want the first part of the animation to be blank. What you would do is you would go ahead to a particular point and just select the start of this and then just hold down shift and it's going to snap over here. But that would take a lot of time. But instead of that, what you could do, you can hold an alt and click on the left square bracket key which is going to cut the first part. Now if you want to reduce it from the back side, all you got to do is hold on alt and click on the right or the close square bracket key and there you go. Okay, so the next shortcut. Now, for example, if you have an expression on one of the layers and if you just play, as you can see, I have a simple expression of wiggle over here. 
Now, this is fine because you know there's nothing else in the composition, but what if you have a bunch of layers and hundreds of expressions? Working is going to be a very big problem for you because every time you move down to a property, you're going to see a lot of space being taken up. So here's a shortcut. Hold down shift and press EE -E on the keyboard double two times. And what that's going to do, that's going to hide the expression. So if I go press P on my keyboard, you can see the expression. I can still see that this position has an expression, but I can't see the expression. To get back the expression, I got to hold down shift and press EE -E two times. And I can see the expression come back on again. All right, here is our last and final shortcut. Now I have a composition over here which has a ramp and there is a pre-comp inside of it which is the pre-comp too and that's just basically a rectangle. Now for example, we wanna switch between these comps without clicking. All we gotta do is hold down shift and press the escape button and that's gonna move up to the next composition. And if I press escape again, it's gonna go back to the previous composition. So as you can see, I'm moving to and from both of these compositions. So that wraps it up for this video. I hope you guys really learned a lot of things in this video and please do comment below which was your most favorite or most useful shortcut in After Effects is. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more content and I'll see you guys in my next video. So till then take care and bye bye.